Well, I like that they're collaborating on their art piece. That's good to see. Oh, we have success. Mr. Wiener, you've done it. Oh, that's my boy, that's my Picasso. Oh, that's gonna be a good piece of art too. I like the colors. You, you chose a nice palette, Mr. Wiener. What do you think, cutie? Do you like a uh, Jackson Pollock style? Happy Oons Day, everyone. Tonight, we're gonna try and get raccoons to make art. What is this? I have some powdered sugar, and I have a wet blanket here. As they walk across, we want them to finger paint. We want them to make some art on this canvas. Over here, I have a device with multiple markers that are hanging suspended, touching onto a canvas. As they reach for the peanuts, they're gonna move the markers around and they're gonna draw us a picture, hopefully. Over here is a loose piece of clay. See if they put their footprints in it. Maybe it'll be like the movie Ghost and they have a romantic mo moment and they, uh, they make a sculpture out of it. I have no idea. Okay, here's the killer over here. I like to do pore painting and I thought maybe we could get the raccoons to do some pore painting. So we have a canvas. I have six colors. We're gonna mix them in there, make a dirty pour. Fill the ball with some cookies. Boom, they pull on it, should pour the paint, and they should make some art. Okay, this is probably more of a challenge for me than it is for them. This ought to be fun. Oh no, they're here already. Okay, they're here. Way too soon, I'm not ready. I got the uh, dirty pour ready to go. I gotta put some cookies in the cookie bowl and we could get some flow art going. Okay guys, who's the artist amongst you? Okay, so to get raccoons to make actual art art is asking a lot. But perhaps some abstract art, not a problem. Especially some free association, just free mind. As the body moves, mix some colors around. You know, like uh, Jackson Pollock style. I think we can do this. So, we'll wait for these guys to come, do some finger painting, do some drawing with some markers, and do some pour painting. We should get some abstract works here. Maybe even they'll spin the uh, table and uh, form something with the clay. You never know. Okay, something scared them off. They went up the tree. While I got them up the tree, let me show you something my wife did. So this is called uh, diamond art. And it's a lot of tiny pieces of plastic, kind of like beads, that you, you put into place and it forms a picture. And of course she did a raccoon one for me. And I think that one looks kind of like Cutie when she was a little one. Okay, once a raccoon step in there, there's some vivid colors there to uh, get some finger art going on. They might even make something like this. I mean, this is finger painting to the extreme by an artist known as Eugene von Bruchenheim. And this was in the 1950s he was doing this. Um, way ahead of his time. It's otherworldly. I love the guy's art. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. If you get a chance, go online, type in Eugene von Bruchenheim. Oh, here's Mr. Wiener. He's checking out the pour paint. Oh, he might be the artist. Mr. Wiener, what do you think? You gonna sculpt something out of clay? You and the baby? Gonna work as a team? Oh, here's Nervous Nelly. She smells the paint. Now, I'm hoping this box doesn't get pulled and tipped over. That's gonna be a royal mess. Oh, he did a couple scribbles there with the markers. All right, we're going to get some art going here soon. I do have a, a brick in there to give it some weight. So hopefully the idea is they just pull and 
tip the cups over and that's enough. Mr. Wiener, you skipped all the color. You're supposed to get your feet wet over there. Oh, he's, he's making a mud, mud art. Uh-oh. Something something's not right here. He's investigating. Don't try to open it. I don't need paint all over the patio. So that will be completely harmless if they lick it off of them. It's just sugar. Just colored sugar. Hi, buddy. You kind of skipped the whole thing. You're supposed to walk across straight to me, not go around it. You're just investigating everything, aren't you? Every week it's something different. You're going, what is he up to now? I like your footprints. I like it a lot better with some color on it. I really should have put a blank t-shirt out here for them to step in the colors and make me a t-shirt to wear. Oh, oh. He keeps thinking about that football, but he doesn't do it. So for a brief moment, I did some poor painting. I don't want to say professionally, but I did have my stuff in a store and it did sell. I sold maybe a couple dozen pieces. And I actually had a piece that hung in a museum for a couple months. Uh, the kicker there is, it was kind of a member show and I was a member to the museum. But I can legit say, one of my pieces hung in a museum, in a nice museum, too. But uh, I'll show you some examples of my poor painting as we go along. I did it a little differently. I, I did it on large pieces of tile to give it a real smooth effect. And I didn't do just pure dirty pores. I tried to add some character with my pores. That's one I have blown up into a canvas. I have to take a nice picture of it and then uh, have her printed on canvas. Baby, you want to color with some markers? Ooh, what are you making? Well, it's kind of working as designed. I have little rubber bands just to hold it at the right height. And as they move it with their feet, kind of get little scribbles on the paper. And by the end of the night, I'm thinking we're going to have some uh, abstract art. Looks like excitable Bill. Bill, can you pull that football for me? Hi Heather. Want to make some art? So guess what tonight, buddy? You can't walk in here because you're going to have dirty feet. Okay, so far, this one's working. Um, waiting on one of these other ones to get into action. Come on, there's lots out there, Mr. Wiener. Now, you're supposed to walk this way with the color. Now he's going to get that rug all dirty. Now, that's fine. But I kind of want them to come this way with the footprints. There is a baby up in that tree just chirping away. Oh, we have success. Mr. Wiener, 
You've done it. Oh, that's my boy. That's my Picasso. Oh, that's going to be a good piece of art, too. I like the colors. You, you chose a nice palette, Mr. Wiener. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. But I'm thinking I just might have to cut that football off because that's going to be a disaster if that gets pulled any farther. What did I say, Mr. Weenie? You can't walk in here. I gotta cut that football. Excuse me, buddy. You don't want to play with scissors. Hi, Moira. Did you know your boy's an artist? Excuse me, baby. Excuse me, baby. Okay, and I picked the dullest scissors there is. There we go. I'll give you guys cookies, don't worry. Okay, that was the bait and they took it. Hi, baby. What are you guys making over here? Oh, I'm gonna hang that on the fridge when you're done. Okay, let me get you some cookies, wiener. I know, you want this football, and you're going to run off with it. I'm sorry. You made your art. That's what I wanted. It's only fair if he gets his cookie now. There you go. You are a good boy. You are a good boy. Moira, I can't believe what your son did. He's an artist. You want to check out his painting, don't you? I'm wondering if I shouldn't just move that so it's not even a problem. What if they bump it and tip it and explore it? Maybe that'll uh, move it around the canvas even more. There you go, Moira. I'm going to have a colorful new step at the end of the night, I think. Hi, Moira. You want to do some finger painting? Excitable Bill. Yeah. Make some finger art. Oh, Circus Circus. That's why I named you Circus Circus. You stand more than any other raccoon here. Oh, sorry Nervous Nelly. I'll get you one. You're always so nervous. Hi Cleopatra. Heather, you're so pretty. There's the artist. You're gonna play in the paint. You're such a cutie. I'm really liking how that one's starting to turn out. Very uh, postmodern. Uh oh. Someone's gonna make something out of the uh, clay there. Looks like they're trying to make a taco shell expression. It's so simple but yet so deep. Look how it just lays there. Okay, Circus Circus.
and the baby's taking the medium into the flowers and is going to create out there. Hi cutie pie. You're late tonight. Moira. Oh Moira, you big fuss bucket. Oh, look at all this. Footprints. That's going to be a nice piece of art at the end of the night. Cutie, you're not coming in. You got colors on your paws. I'm sorry, baby. You can give me all the kisses in the world. You ain't coming in. I think I'm going to have to throw a lot of nuts out there to keep people happy. And by people, I mean raccoons. I do that all the time. I call them people. Yeah, she doesn't want peanuts. She wants cookies. So I wonder if someone's sculpting the clay back there. Oh, someone's playing with the squeaky toy over there. It might be skittish. Skittish loves to play with toys, I notice. Unless that's wiener. That could be wiener. Wiener, you being a silly boy? Yeah, that's Mr. Wiener. He's playing with the squeaky toy. <laughs> Raccoons like to play. And fight. Moira, that's your daughter, Cutie. Honestly, what's gotten into you? She got rough with Wiener the other night, too. So those are her kids from last year. And they're at the age where she says, you're on your own. Don't come near me. Well, Cutie needs a cookie now. Yes, that was very stressful. Your mama beat you up. Okay, buddy. There you go. I saw you playing with the squeaky toy. You're such a silly boy. Like your brother silly boy. So there's skittish right there. Here comes cutie the cookie monster. Walk, walk through the color cutie. There you go. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Cutie is very gentle. She will not bite my finger. And I get asked from time to time if I've ever been bitten. And I guess what I could say is I've had what are the most gentle exploratory little nibbles on my finger or my thumb. Never anything that breaks the skin or even leaves a dent. It's just kind of a mistake where they miss the food and they realize real quick, oh, that's his finger, and they they let up real quick, just the same as a dog or a cat would do. But no, I've never been bit. And I've never received a scratch where I bled. Hi, Skittish. Look what your brother did. He's an artist. He's an artiste. You're just full of kisses tonight. You are desperate. Well, it looks like all the markers are still in place, which is good. And that piece is coming along nicely. No, 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 no. You don't want to come in here. There you go, baby. Skittish. Skittish is as slow motion as they come. She wants to play it safe. You don't want a cookie? Maybe you want a cookie?
So it's been the babies mostly doing the coloring with the markers. Doing some interesting little chips over there, the adults, Mr. Wiener and uh, Cutie. They kind of move their, their lips real fast and do a little squeak. I've seen that many times. This one looks new. Um, I think they were saying hi to this one. Who is that cutie? Hello. How you doing, buddy? Want to shake my hand? Well, a little too much liquid, I think. It needs to kind of evaporate away to, to get the art. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Curious how many we have here right now. I saw one go under the picnic table. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Way out there was one. There's one. That would be 24. That one kind of reminds me of Mishka, which is uh, Moira's daughter I haven't seen in a long, long time. If that is, she's got about four babies. And I think this would be the first time I've seen her around here in a long time. I'm curious if that's Mishka. Cutie. Is that your sister over there? Okay, cutie. So again, here's Cleo, and I'm seeing one, two, three, four of her babies. Don't think I know what you're up to. I do. You want to be the cookie thief with your dirty little red, blue, yellow paws. Oh, someone pulled out a marker. I might have to take that one away so they don't chew on it. Okay, I just noticed that. They unlatched both ends of the uh, container there. Raccoons are ever curious with their hands, so I shouldn't be that surprised. Wow, look at that one go. You are coloring fierce. But they can now lift that container right off. I may have to step in here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Look at that. That is impressive. Later on we'll take this off and we'll uh, look at it real good and we'll take that off and look at the uh, flow art real good. Well I say we take a look at this flow art. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh, look at that. And I did do a little bit of silicone in there too to give it some of the cells. So that's pretty cool looking. I just might want to move this into the garage, get it out of the way, before someone comes around and uh, tips the whole thing over. Bill, there's wet paint here. You gotta be careful. Cutie, I know you wanted to make some art too. I should have had more than one box out, so you could have made some. Mr. Wiener's going to be famous. What about you? You can make some finger art. Do some finger painting. Here, cutie. Look. Don't you go in there. You want to go scribble on the markers? Well, I think I'm going to wrap things up, folks. We got art tonight. We got... <laughs> I guess you call that finger painting. It looks like a lot of red. 
we definitely got some very cool scribbles there we're going to take a look at that and we got some flow art so let's take this off and see how this one turned out and then we're going to retire this piece cutie you're going to put your signature on it i didn't see you working on it the babies did this Ooh, raccoon art that is abstract that is very cool Okay, here's uh, the finished result of Cleopatra's kids working with the markers. It's interesting, you could see some circles in there. I wasn't anticipating that. I just thought it was going to be a lot of zigzag lines, but I see a pattern there. That is fascinating. And Mr. Wiener made this one. He did some flow art. He's taken after me. I like to do flow art too. It's pretty cool looking. It's got some nice bubbles in there. Um... Good color combination. Now for the finger painting, I'm not a fan. Uh, what do you think? Not for me. Well, we did it. We got the raccoons to make some art. Unbelievable. This was more of a challenge for me than the raccoons tonight. Uh, hope you had fun. Let me know which one is your favorite. Happy Oons Day, everyone.